I feel like oftentimes, like I tend to get really excited about things. And so my natural disposition is to want to take on more and do more. And I have shiny object syndrome. I have idea after idea. And so it's, I can make my calendar very full very quickly if I, if I'm not mindful about it. And so when things start to feel off balance, where I feel stressed or maybe like technical difficulties or just things pop up that I hadn't planned for, um, I try to first remember that flexibility is actually the key for me is just to like remain flexible and know that, you know, there's things that I can't control and what can I let go of that I can't control when I, in my therapy sessions, I really love my therapist because she often reminds me, you know, um, there's just things that you hold on to in your body that you're feeling overwhelmed with. But when I can take a step back and be like, ah, you know, like me worrying about it is actually not going to change the current situation. So what can I do to either like sit with it and breathe into it, feel where it is in my body, acknowledge it, and then just let it go out my feet. That's like, kind of like a visualization yeah. that I do. And then what can I do to either like take my mind off of it or be productive in another aspect? Like what can I control? So that's a long-winded response to basically saying, I try to check in with myself and see how I'm feeling in my body. And oftentimes getting away from the screen often helps me because if you're just kind of stuck on your computer and like trying to figure out whatever is causing you stress or whatever it is, um, being able to step away and then come back with like a more clear, composed mind typically helps me. Yeah. It sounds like a lot of what you do is like so much mindfulness, so much like tuning into your body and how you're feeling. Like what feels good if I'm overwhelmed? Where is that feeling? Like how can I ground myself? Like it's, I see the the yoga background. <laughs> I see it in in the way you live and I love it. Okay. So tell us about why systems are so important. I know you're big on like systems and habits and routines. So let's talk about that. Yeah. So I really got into the system side of things because I am naturally very floaty, very creative. I have, you know, a hard time focusing. And so for me, creating a system where I can put all my ideas and capture them, but then not let them rest in my brain and store them in my brain, I can put them somewhere that I can refer to later, but maybe not take action on them right now. So it's kind of started with that perspective. But then I really started to enjoy the process of creating systems. So Notion is, I know that you also love Notion. Mm -hmm. And it's a platform that has really just changed everything about how I approach my business. And um, it's allowed me to create more space, but also become more intentional and realize, you know, this is the stuff that I'm focusing on this month. I don't have to look at everything like a giant uh, block of the calendar. This is, I'm looking at everything at once. It's more, I can take things piece by piece, step by step. And I loved creating those systems to help me kind of get all the things out of my brain and just into a system that helps me thrive. And so that really works for me as someone who can be very scattered and, uh, unfocused, it's helped me create so much more focus in my life. 